Welcome into All Things LA Real Estate. My name is PK Knoll and I am running point on this channel. This is your Los Feliz August real estate update. Los Feliz, incredible neighborhood, sits on the east side of Hollywood. It's kind of that bridge to get up into the Atwater, Glendale, Pasadena area. A lot of nice houses, you know, north of Los Feliz on the south side of Griffith Park. Incredible spot. We're going to get into all the stuff you need to know if you're looking in the area. We'll do some current statistics, some month over month, some year over year. And at the end of the video, I'm going to break down a few homes that have caught my eye as we try and find some value in the neighborhood. Let's go. So what's currently happening out in Los Feliz now? We're going to get into the current statistics. So available for sale right now in Los Feliz is 39 homes. Of those 39 homes, we've seen 14 of them do price drops. That's 36%, extremely high number. Typically, in a normal real estate market, a price drop is a red flag, a mispriced home, something wrong with the home. But in this market, where there are just not enough buyers who can afford to buy the homes at 7% interest rate, it's not as big as a red flag as previous years. And it really just shows desperation of people trying to offload a home, whether they're relocating or whatever the situation is. So it could provide some opportunities, but we're seeing this consistently and Los Feliz is getting hit hard. The minimum price right now available for sale is 868,000. The maximum, beautiful home, 14.5 million. We're gonna talk about that home in the final segment of the video. Beautiful spot. Average price of the homes available for sale, 3.824. 508. Average days on market is 64, and that's the golden number. So what we'll typically see the days on market, it'll be somewhere between 30 and 45, so a month, month and a half, and that's kind of like a normal, healthy market. When it starts to get into the 60 range, when homes have been sitting for two months, that's when sellers start to lose patience. They start to have those tough conversations with their realtors. You do not want to have to sit on the market for two, three, four months. That's why you see the 36% price drops on the market. You're just dealing with open houses and trying to keep your house big and clean. You can't make that move. Maybe you're pushing right now because school is about to start back up. If we compare it to August of 2022, we had 24 homes sell at 103% clip, so 3% over the list price. So there's opportunity there. That's not a huge number. We probably won't get back there unless these homes start pushing now. If you're somebody who's looking in Los Feliz for a home, the most important segment is the next one, which is last month. All right, most important segment, if you're somebody who's looking in Los Feliz right now, because the most recent statistics are the most relevant and tells you exactly what's happening now, you can anticipate and make smart moves based off that. If you're going to buy a home with a 7% interest rate, you gotta be making smart moves, value plays, find homes that appreciate. Last month, we saw 15 homes sell at a 97% clip, meaning 3% under the list price. That's not a great sign. That's not great. That means, you know, maybe they were overpriced, but there's just not enough competition to buy on a high end. Los Feliz is one of the more expensive neighborhoods on the east side. So 97% means these people are trying to settle and move on from their things. So it could be opportunities, but it's not necessarily what you want to see. You want to see that number to go back what we saw in August of 2022 at 103%, 105%, somewhere in that range. Minimum sale price last month was 1.535 million. Maximum was 9.8 million. That is the most expensive sale in Los Feliz this year, but they actually took 2.95 million under the list price. So this was listed for over 12 million. They took 9.8. That is a highlight. That is something to keep your eye on. It's just another reflection of what's going on in Los Feliz right now. Average days on market for the homes that sold was 47. That's once again, a very high number for homes that sell. Normally that number sticks between 20 and 35. We're at 47 because you know there's always gonna be a couple of houses that come on the market that are super attractive, that jump off the board immediately. So 47 is high. Another reflection of what's going on in Los Feliz. We look back to July of 2022, we had 21 homes sell at 110% clip. So we've seen a decline year over year. The thing that jumps out and I'm looking here is we might be a month or two away 
from being able to pro provide and find some value in lows for lease. Because of the numbers that we're seeing, we're going to see more price drops. We're going to see a lot of things going on in this neighborhood. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you to homes that have caught my eye and we'll try and find that value now. All right, homes that have caught my eye. So we're going to get into the entry level position. What's it take to get into the neighborhood? I'm going to give you my favorite play, PK's top pick in the neighborhood where I look for value. It's going to be a financial move to get you into the neighborhood. And then we'll look at the top end because it's always fun. It's always nice to see what the top end of the market looks like. And it is a beautiful home. So stick around to the end of this segment, the final section. But let's start with the entry level. It's 1110 North Ardmore Avenue. It's a three bedroom, three bath, 996 square feet, listed for 868,000. This home has seen a recent price drop of 22,000. So it was originally listed for 890. It's just another one of that 36% that I've seen the price drop. So that's attractive to me. It's the minimum price to get in the neighborhood and it shows desperation from the side of the seller. So you might be able to go in. It's been sitting since February 2nd. The lot's 3,000, so it's not bad there. $871 per square foot is what we're looking at. On the low end, I want that number between four and seven. 871 is not terrible. It's not something that's gonna make me run away from a deal. But what that tells me is we might even be able to get below the list price on this home, which is something we saw last month, right? At 97% on average for the homes that were out there. This sits on the south side of Los Feliz, kind of closer to Santa Monica Boulevard. House isn't bad, but if you're looking to get into home ownership, typically you'll see appreciation year over year in Los Feliz. So it might be an opportunity there. But let's jump to my favorite, PK's top pick. It's 3012 Hyperion Avenue, four bedrooms, three baths, 3,284 square feet. It's listed for 1.977 million, 222,000 price drop. And we saw that with homes consistently, right? 97%, we saw 2.95 million on the top end. This one already dropped 222,000. It was listed in April, like mid-April, and the seller's ready to make a move off it. It gets that number down to $602 per square foot, a number that I love, especially in the $2 million range. It's a Spanish style home. It's got great views. I love a house anywhere on the east side that gives me views. You can see Griffith Observatory from here. Um, now it is on Hyperion Road. So Hyperion Road is kind of a busy street come evening rush hour. People trying to get up northeast out of the you know Hollywood area, Silver Lake area. But this is on Hyperion, but it's on a kind of that little frontage road off the side just north of Rowena. So that kind of mitigates a little bit of that traffic, gives you an opportunity. If you're on the north side of Rowena, that's the side you wanna be on because the real hassle point is if you're coming north up Hyperion, getting past Rowena is where it's very difficult. There's a lot of people jumping over you know, to the east there, getting to the five. So being on the top side is definitely the side that I wanna be on. And this is a beautiful home with great views, great per square footage mark, a seller that's having to make the move to drop the price which shows some opportunity. And let's finish off with the top dog. It's 2331 Chiselhurst Drive, seven bedrooms, 11 baths, just under 10,000 square feet. It's listed for 14.5 million. Now, it was built in 2019, so no issues there. Updated, great house. The lot's huge, 16,955. It's a 1453 per square foot. You get into the high end, homes they're always going to normally be somewhere closer to a thousand dollars per square foot 1453 is pretty high i would anticipate this home to have to have a price drop coming very very soon um you know we saw it with the top end that 9.8 million dollar home that sold last month was the highest all year and they took a two million dollar plus hit off that it was at 12 it went down to under 10 so maybe this house is more associated at this rate to be at 13 unless they get the right cash buyer but an absolutely gorgeous home and a beautiful pool and spa which i'm all about if you're gonna live on the east side i love the east side of los angeles that's where my home is i've lived here for decades and the thing about it is, is you're not close to the ocean so having a pool in the backyard is something that's very attractive great home here if you can afford it you might be able to get it on the list price we'll see 
Thank you so much for watching the video. We do this every single month for almost every neighborhood on the east side. We're doing Pasadena, Silver Lake, Eagle Rock, Highland Park, Glendale, La Kenyatta, El Sereno, Cypress Park. The list goes on and on. So like and subscribe to the channel if you are so inclined. If you're somebody who's looking to purchase a home on the east side of Los Angeles or sell your home, I am happy to help out with you. Reach out to me. You can send me a direct message online or all of my phone numbers are listed. Even if you're somebody who's hesitant with 7% interest rates, that puts us in the same boat. It always helps to start preparing for future opportunities because you don't want to miss the boat there. We will tread lightly. We will look for value. We will get it done. I also do a ton of other videos. I get into the schools. I get into you know the restaurants in the neighborhood. I get into the attractions in the neighborhood. I do some other fun videos like Quick Cribs. So once again, like and subscribe if you are so inclined. Have a great day. Be kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm.